Alright, so in today's short video, we'll try and build a rock, paper, scissors game using Copilot. And hey, you may be thinking that I'm not a pro in Python or I've never written Python code before, but I think that's the beauty of Copilot because I see it as a tool that you can use to learn. So in this case, with zero or very little experience writing Python code, I'm actually just learning Python myself. You can start by letting Copilot know what you're trying to do. And for that, we'll use a comment to prompt Copilot to write code to implement the rock, paper, scissors game. But before that, let's take a minute to define what a prompt is. So I asked ChatGPT to give me a short definition of what a prompt is. Let me bring that here. This doesn't look short though, but yeah. So basically you see that a prompt is a piece of text or code that you provide as input to the model to instruct it on the kind of output or response you expect. So basically think of a prompt as either you describing a problem or asking a question or just giving specific instructions. And then the model will use that to generate code or text that solves that given problem or fulfills that requested task. So in this case, and let me drag ChatGPT to this other screen, you'll see that we'll use a comment as our prompt for the model and ask Copilot to write a rock, paper, uh, scissors game. So we'll do that through a comment, ask it to write a rock, paper, scissors, and see. It actually kind of gets what I'm trying to do. So I'll accept that prompt suggestion. I will hit enter. And at this point, I really don't want to give it too much uh, information. But at the back of my mind, I do think that the logic of this game will definitely have some concept of randomness. So I'll now prompt Copilot to import the random module for me. So again, I'll use a comment and surprisingly enough, Copilot already figures out that that's something you're going to use for this specific um, code. So I will hit tab to accept this comment suggestion. I'll hit enter and I'll have Copilot import the random module for me. Um, so next up, once I hit enter, you'll see that Copilot is trying to now break down the steps for me, but I will not accept this um, comment suggestion from Copilot simply because I want just one function to handle all the logic. So with that, I will be very specific with my next prompt and I'll prompt Copilot to write a main function. So I'll actually be specific with the name of the function to handle all the game, all the game logic. And once you start typing your comment, it's likely that Copilot will begin to figure out exactly what you're looking for. So this way I've been, I've been very specific with my prompts. I'll actually attach a link to a very nice explanatory video that gives some awesome tips to have in mind uh, when you're prompting using Copilot. So at this point, I think my comment is clear enough. I'll hit enter and you'll see Copilot begin to write my function. So I'll accept that, I'll hit enter again. And at this point, uh, given that this one function will hold the entire logic, I do expect uh, Copilot to, to take some time to come up with the function. So I'm just gonna give it a, a, quick, um, a quick second or just a few seconds to figure that out and ensure that it gives me exactly what I want. All right there. So we can see that Copilot has actually come up with a huge chunk of code. And by the look of it, it looks to actually, it looks like it actually handles the logic of this game. And hey, it, it might take uh, more than a few seconds. So I think you can just be a little bit patient uh, with it, or you can just try and and push it by typing what you think should come next. Uh, so I think this looks good. And another thing to point out here is that you'd see that Copilot doesn't just return a chunk of code, but it actually accompanies this code with comments. 
And that's exactly what I meant by using Copilot as a tool that you can use to learn. So in this case, if you've never written Python code, you can actually read in natural language the comment and see the code that implements um, what the comment describes. So again, you can take a few minutes, just go through the code that has been provided through the comments and you'll basically be learning um, this awesome language. So this looks good so far, I'll hit enter. And you'll see that Copilot is also smart enough to notice that we've just written our code inside the main function, but we're yet to call it. So that will be the last step to just call the main function so that once we run our file, it will execute the code inside this function. I will accept the suggestion and I'm also going to accept the code that Copilot has just provided. So at this point, I think our code is ready. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. I'll open up my terminal. I'll get into the right directory. So it's in the downloads folder and I will run our file called main.py. So last time I played this, I was a pro. So let's see if that's still the case. I'll go with paper. Uh, the computer chose rock, so of course I won. Let's give it a second try. Uh, this time I'll still choose paper. Ah, the computer also chose paper, so it's a tie. Let's see that that time who's gonna win this. Uh, I'm gonna go with rock. It's still a tie, all right, so I think I need to up my game. But yeah, basically that's how you can use a tool like Copilot to learn. Do something you've never done before and it's actually a fun experience. So do stay tuned for more of such videos.